it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another what I ate in a week video. Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Care Of and today I will be showing you guys everything I ate in a week as a vegan. Now the theme of today's video is let's use up everything in my fridge and my freezer. Okay, let's let's make some room. Okay, it is a disaster. It is it's a disaster. So basically in this video I try to like use up as much as I could, dig up things from, you know, the abyss. So hopefully this is interesting. Not sure? Let me know in the comments. Uh, let's get started with day one. All right, friends, so a few things to note before we get started, letting you know that I drink coffee every morning and I probably have like at least two cups a day. Just putting that out there. I didn't show this because I mean, it's, it's what I eat in a day, not what I drink in a day. God, okay. Anyway, moving on, I am making this random cucumber salad and I had maybe a tablespoon of this zesty Italian dressing left over in that bottle, which I've had in my fridge for probably a year. Who knows what is in that dressing? Anyways, using that up. And then let's heat up a few of these veggie balls that I made the other day. I'll link the recipe down below. And then I am taking two pieces of toast. We're gonna make a little sandwich. On one piece, we're gonna put some marinara sauce. And then on the other piece, I just added some vegan mayo, just a little bit. And then we're just gonna take the uh, veggie balls and then just like mash them into the sandwich. And there you have it. There is my delicious sandwich and very random breakfast. I hope you guys try out the veggie ball recipe because oh, they're so good and they are so versatile. You can use it in so many different things. And then for lunch, I was working at my cafe. If you guys don't know, I have a vegan cafe here in my city called Savage Cafe. And I'm having literally just half of two main dishes so i have hummus and avocado wrap which i took a bite of and then i also have some tapte which is korean glass noodles and then the tapte comes with a side of dumplings but again i'm having half of each meal with some kimchi and for a little snack i am having some salted popcorn which is super good it's one of my favorite snacks now and for dinner i actually ended up going to my friend's place for friendsgiving it was a canadian thanksgiving so we had some yummy food i actually made the two ingredient pumpkin gnocchi that i showed you guys in my thanksgiving recipes video which i'll link down below and I also made some crispy soy curls as well. And we ate that with gravy and cranberry sauce. And there was also Beyond Meatballs and roasted veggies. And oh my God, so good. Friendsgiving. Mmm. Mmm. Does it count as Friendsgiving if there's three people? Yes, yep. it does. I only have two friends. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, everybody. For breakfast, I'm having some leftovers that my mama packed me because I'm still a child. Now, a few days earlier to this, I had my birthday dinner at my parents' house, so there was some leftover food. My mom made these really yummy rice flour, like tortilla thingies. I don't know what to call them. So I'm just gonna have a few of these along with those veggie balls you guys saw earlier. And then I have some like enoki mushrooms and a mixture of vegetables that my mom made. So I quickly heated this up and then I just ate this like fajita style, you know what I'm saying? And then I just used some coconut aminos to uh, flavor everything and it was super delicious. And for lunch, I was working at the cafe again, so I'm having a poke bowl. This is our vegan tuna poke bowl, which is so good. I have this all the time. Uh, the vegan tuna is made of tomato, and then I also added some seaweed salad on top, and it comes with tofu. There's brown rice underneath. That's brown sushi rice, and there's tons of veggies. It's also topped with vegan sriracha mayo, and it is mm, so delicious. And for a little snack, I'm having this giant Korean apple pear situation. I got this from my parents once again, because again, I am a child. And this was actually from our Korean Thanksgiving meal or mid autumn festival meal, because this fruit is very popular in Korea. It is very traditional to eat during that time. 
And for dinner, I had these leftover air fried fries that were sitting in my fridge. I just microwaved them slightly, but I'm also gonna cook them up slightly on the pan so that they become a little bit crispy again because if you just microwave it, it's gonna be a little bit soggy. So instead, I wanted to make it slightly crispy. And using the same pan, I added a little bit of oil and we are going to cook up some soaked soy curls. So I had soy curls left over from the night before, I believe. So I'm just gonna cook them up. I like to let it brown just a little bit. And I feel like you guys know the drill at this point. I like to add a bit of garlic salt in order to season the soy curls. So that's what I'm doing here. And then of course, you guys, I think you know what I'm gonna do. I am making my buffalo soy curls. So I had some buffalo sauce leftover or Frank's hot sauce leftover and there was just a little bit so I added a little bit of water into the bottle shook it up so I can use up all of that goodness so that's how I quickly make my buffalo soy curls honestly I love making this anytime I'm lazy and I just want something quick and delicious and easy it's so so easy and so good and I'm also having a side of my broccoli salad once again from my Thanksgiving recipes video, which again will be linked down below. And then of course we've got those buffalo soy curls and there's my dinner. We have some uh, air fried fries that were left over, some uh, broccoli salad. You can't really see the broccoli, but yeah, leftover broccoli salad and buffalo soy curls. Oh my God, so good. All right, guys, so I'm here now to remind you to make sure you take your vitamins and supplements. And that brings us to today's sponsor, which is Care Of. If you guys don't know, Care Of is a vitamins and supplements company that creates customized vitamin packs and delivers them straight to your door. It is so convenient. All you have to do is take a five minute quiz on their website and that just kind of goes through what you're looking for, what your needs are, your lifestyle, your activity levels. And then at the end of the quiz, it gives you a list of suggestions, list of recommendations. And then of course you get to choose whichever, you know, vitamins and supplements you want to add into your little pack. And then they just ship it straight to your door. It's so simple. And all you have to do is take one of those packets out every day and take them, okay? It has everything you need. You don't have to fumble through a million bottles and figure out whichever ones you wanna take that day, whatever it is, okay? You just have to take that one little packet and then you're good to go. So in my personal daily pack, I've got some vitamin B12, which is essential for vegans to supplement. I also have some veggie omega for my omega-3 supplement, which is loaded with EPA and DHA. Magnesium, which supports muscle function and healthy bones. And cranberry, which is great for urinary tract health. And a probiotic blend for a healthy gut and digestive system. So another thing that's great about Care Of is that they're really transparent about how they source their products and the quality of their products. You can find out all of that information on their website. And the daily packs are actually compostable and eco-friendly. All you have to do is go on their website and there will be information on how to compost these little daily packs. So guys, don't forget to check out Care Of. The link is down below. And today they're giving you guys 50% off your first month. Yes, my friends, 50% off. So use this code right here and you will get 50% off your first month. So thank you so much to Care Of for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go on. Okay, let's look at what else I ate this week. Happy hump day, everybody. We are going to toast up some uh, sourdough bread, and I'm also going to have the rest of my broccoli salad, as you can see here. And I'm also going to add in some slices of mini cucumber as well into the salad. And then we have two slices of toast. I like to usually have one sweet and one savory. So on my sweet piece of toast, I am adding in some peach jam. Is this peach? Did I just make this up? Why can't I remember this flavor? Guys, guys, I can't remember this flavor. I think it was peach, okay? Anyways, my mom made peach flavored jam, delicious. And then on the other toast, I'm adding some bruschetta. This is my roommate's bruschetta. I just saw it in the fridge and I was like, mm, I kinda want it. We share food, okay, we do. And on top of the bruschetta, I'm gonna add some black beans. Now, my roomie actually made a delicious meal for me on my birthday. And one of the components of this delicious meal were these like really deliciously seasoned black beans. So that's what I'm adding here. And there is my breakfast. So good, so hearty, so filling. Ah, oh, perfetto. 
And once again, I was at the cafe for lunch, so I'm having our bibimbap, which is a fresh veggie bibimbap. For those of you that don't know, bibimbap is Korean mixed rice. So you have to mix everything. This is actually the meal post mixing. I'm also having a little side of vegan kimchi there. And then for a snack, why did I eat it like this? I don't know. I have popcorn, but apparently I was too lazy to put it in a bowl, so I'm having it on my desk. Okay. And for dinner, I was back at the cafe again because I ended up working out and then afterwards I was so tired and busy and I had no time to make my own food. So I'm having our bulgogi, which is our vegan bulgogi. So this is a Korean dish traditionally with meat, but this time it's not with meat. It is with soy curls. So good and tons of veggies, lots of rice, and I had a side of kimchi with it as well. So good. And we're already on Thursday. Where is the time going? I'm not sure, but I am heating up some of those rice flour tortilla thingies again. And we're actually gonna make these into kind of tacos this time. I know, I'm so creative. So in the same pan, we are gonna heat up some black beans. These are just regular black beans, not seasoned or anything, but again, I had some leftover in my fridge. So I'm gonna use that with some marinara sauce. I know, super random, I know, oh my God, who cares? So we're gonna add some marinara sauce and then we're just gonna mix that up. That's how I'm gonna season it because I'm lazy and that's it, okay? You don't need to be complicated, okay? You don't need to be complicated. And then into our little tacos, I'm adding the leftover veggies that I had. I'm just using up the rest of them. It's a mixture of mushrooms and veggies. And then of course we can top with the black bean marinara. Oh my God, so fancy, okay? So fancy. And I ended up adding a little bit of shredded cabbage into each taco as well for that nice little crunch factor. And there you have it, super random, super delicious. And yeah, that's it okay and hello it is lunchtime we are making some instant vermicelli so i got some water on the kettle and then i'm also going to chop up some broccoli and i'm going to add some of that broccoli into the same bowl as the noodles and then we can actually pour the hot water into that bowl in order to start the cooking process i know i'm a genius you are welcome so basically you just wanna soak everything in hot water and then you wanna cover up the bowl so that it really steams and kinda of cooks while you can do other things, okay? So again, I'm having some leftover soy curls and I also had some leftover black beans. So I'm just gonna cook that up on the pan here. And then after like two or three minutes or so, you can drain the noodles and broccoli and then just throw it into the pan as well. And normally I would make the sauce separately in a small bowl, but I got kind of lazy and this actually worked out totally fine. So first I'm going to add in one tablespoon of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of soy sauce or tamari, and I'm also going to add in maybe about half a tablespoon of coconut aminos, and then two tablespoons of powdered peanut butter or PB2, and then just a little splash of water, and then let's mix that well. And of course, I love a little kick, so I'm adding in some sriracha in there as well. And that's how easy it is to make some delicious noodles. So simple, so quick, and it's full of protein as well from the black beans and soy curls. And of course, we've got the veggies from the lots of broccoli I used. And then I'm also gonna add in a little bit of the shredded cabbage on the side, and I'm also gonna top with some green onions as always. And of course, let's add in even more sriracha. And there you have it. There is my super delicious lunch. Okay, so I've been working out lately, okay, and like lifting weights and stuff. So I have been so hungry. So I'm having tons of snacks on this day. I have here an apple, delicious, great snack. And I also have some edamame beans. I just have frozen edamame beans all the time and I just heat them up in the microwave and then I just add a little bit of salt and it makes such a great snack. So I'm having that as well. And then I had a little workout and then after workout, I had a little protein shake. This is protein powder, a little bit of almond milk and half a banana. And for dinner, I wanted to make a spicy noodle soup. So I added a little oil into a pan and I'm gonna add some shredded cabbage along with some Shanghai bok choy. And we're also gonna add some minced garlic in the mixture as well. And we're gonna cook that up a little bit. 
And then I'm gonna add some kochukaru. I would say I added about, I don't know, one and a half tablespoons of kochukaru, which if you guys don't know, is Korean red pepper flakes. So red pepper powder rather than the paste. So it's a spicy like powder and it's super good and Korean people use it in like everything. And so once that's mixed in, we can add in some water. I just added in kind of enough to cover the vegetables. And we're gonna bring this mixture to a nice boil. I'm gonna add in some black pepper. I'm also gonna add in a quarter cube of a veggie stock cube. Yes, a quarter of a block of a veggie stock cube. Am I saying this right? You know what I'm saying, okay? Basically, we're gonna flavor it with some veggie stock and then we're gonna mix this really well. And then into this mixture, we added in a frozen block of udon along with a little bit more water. Now, normally I would probably cook the udon separately, but I was lazy and this worked just fine. So basically this udon noodle thing is already cooked. It's just kind of frozen. So you pretty much just have to reheat it. So that's what I'm doing here. And if you haven't had udon noodles yet, guys, you must find, you must eat. They are so good. And I decided to add a final touch of a little bit of tamari or soy sauce just to add a little bit more flavor. And of course, I need some extra protein into this meal. So I'm adding in some extra soft tofu, which goes great in soups. It is so delicious. Oh my gosh. And then I'm going to throw in some chopped green onion, of course, which goes great in this. And that's how I made this delicious and easy soup. So now let's throw it into a bowl. And funny story, guys, actually on this day, I had a dentist appointment just a few hours before I made this dinner and they froze my mouth. And I thought I was healed by this point. I was pretty hungry. OK, so I was like, OK, I think I'm ready to eat now. And then after I made this, I started chewing the noodles and I realized my mouth is still frozen. What is happening? Uh, it was very hard to chew. It was still so delicious and I was so hungry. So I still ate all the noodles, but uh, it was a struggle. Okay. And yay, it is now Friday. Now, Friday morning, I am chopping up some medium firm tofu. I had a block of medium firm tofu. I'm going to chop this up into multiple rectangular pieces. And then we are going to pan fry some of the pieces with a little bit of oil. And I decided to work up the courage to finally try some of this natto. Sorry if I'm saying this wrong. It's a Japanese thing, okay? So I bought this in the Korean supermarket, AKA H Mart. If you guys want to watch my haul, it is linked down below. And I mentioned that I had tried natto before and I didn't like it, but I really want to like it because it's supposed to be really good for you. So I'm trying it again, my friends. I'm trying it again. It is a very strange fermented soybean dish and it is really weird. Like look at this consistency. It is so weird. It like stretches. It's like gooey i don't know it's an acquired taste apparently anyways this package comes with the sauce so i'm going to add the sauce and um, we're going to make a little dish out of it okay so supposedly japanese people eat this very regularly but even some people in japan don't like this so let me know down below if you guys have tried this before it looks really gross right i know <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna make a dish, okay? So we're taking some broccoli once again. If you guys can tell, I love broccoli. I'm also gonna add some of that hot water to cook up the broccoli. This is my favorite way to cook up broccoli because it's lazy and it's easy. And this is how I'm going to enjoy my natto. I have some brown rice and then on top of the brown rice, I'm gonna add the natto. I think this is a common way that people in Japan eat natto, but I could be wrong. And then you wanna top with some green onion. Now I think people eat it just like that, but I wanted to add a little bit more. So I'm adding my pan fried tofu on the side here, which I've seasoned with some salt. And then I'm gonna add the broccoli on the side as well. Actually on the tofu, I think I used garlic salt. That sounds like something I would do, okay? And there's my dish. Um, it looks beautiful, does it not? I know. And full of protein, full of some healthy um, probiotic things from the natto. And I tried this and <laughs> basically I had to add some uh, kimchi on the side as well as add in some coconut aminos. Now it wasn't the worst. I think uh, I could definitely eat it still, but it wasn't the best. <laughs> it's very slimy and very strange. And um, I think I still need a lot more acquiring to do. 
And for lunch, I'm actually having another meal from my cafe. I'm having some Korean curry on rice. So this is just a very mild form of curry. It's basically the same as Japanese curry as well. There's potatoes, there's carrots, there's chickpeas, and we also have some green peas, some onions in there. And of course I have some rice and we top things with nori. And this is so delicious. And once again, let's have some popcorn as a snack. I'm having some of that simply salted popcorn, super delicious. And then I have this random snack, which was basically a little bit of rice. I had some leftover soup from the night before. And then I had one little piece of Inari sushi with some seaweed salad. And then my friend Daniel and I went out for dinner. Yum! Dinner time! Let me squeeze some lime. <laughs> Look at my date. Say hi. Hey guys. <laughs> what did you get? Gnocchi? Uh, gnocchi, yeah. With vegan cheese? Yeah. And I got some noodle thing. I'm Yum. gonna eat some of those noodles. Mm -hmm. And of course, we've got our wine. Cheers. Cheers. Woo! It could be date night. <laughs> this time. Dessert time. What is this? Weird. Oh my god. Ooh. Um, um, I have no idea what I ordered. <laughs> it was chocolate. Ooh, chocolate. Somewhere is chocolate. So that was our Friday and on Saturday I actually made some breakfast for myself and my roommate and Daniel and I made some delicious scrambled tofu using my scrambled tofu seasoning. I'll link the recipe down below. We topped that with some vegan cheese. I also have some asparagus along with some veggie hot dogs and we also have some toast with vegan butter and some air fried potatoes. Oh my god doesn't that look so delicious. And for lunch, I had some Inari sushi with toppings. This is like my favorite new thing now. And for the toppings, I made some tofu salad, which I topped with sriracha and a little bit of green onions. And then I topped the other pieces with seaweed salad. And if you guys want the recipe on how to make these and also some more topping ideas, I'll link my video down below. And for the cucumbers, I'm gonna dip them in samjang, which is a Korean dipping sauce, which is so delicious. You can buy it in a Korean supermarket or you can make your own. And I do have a recipe for that as well, linked down below. And for dinner, I decided to make an instant meal. I'm just having these buckwheat noodles, these spicy buckwheat noodles that comes with like the sauce and everything. And all you have to do is just like cook up the noodles and then mix in the sauce. So that's what I'm eating here. I did add edamame beans with it because I wanted some protein. And yeah, it comes with all these like random sauces. So you just add it in and then you mix it really well. And it's super delicious. I decided to eat mine with a little side of tambuji, which is pickled radish, which goes really great with these types of noodles. And for dessert, I toasted up some sourdough bread and I spread some vegan chocolate hazelnut spread on top. And this was super delicious. And guys, we are on the final day. For breakfast on this day, I was craving noodles. Who's surprised? No one's surprised. I had these noodles that once again I got from H Mart and these are really delicious Korean style noodles and they're super soft and so good. And I basically decided to make the same type of soup that I made the other day, the spicy soup. And I had it with just a different type of noodle. So there you go, spicy noodle soup for breakfast. I know, I know some people might be shocked, but um, I love having anything like this for breakfast. It's so good. And I can pretty much eat anything for breakfast. Like I don't really separate breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like sometimes I do, but sometimes I'll just have like something like this for breakfast and it works. Beautiful, fantastic. I think it's the Asian in me. Mm-hmm. And on this day, I ended up meeting up with my parents and we took Natty to this beautiful dog park in Cam Moore, which is basically a little town in the Rocky Mountains. And it was absolutely beautiful. Yes, there is snow on the ground, my friends. Yes. So yeah, we went there. And then uh, afterwards, we picked up some lunch. We went to A&W. And of course, I got the Beyond Burger with no mayo, which is vegan. And of course, had some fries. Yum. And then I went to my parents' house and spent some time with little Natty 
And for dinner, of course, my mom made a feast. She made these delicious kimchi pancakes, tofu kimchi pancakes, and she made this super yummy salad. It's kind of like a sashimi salad, but vegan, and it's a Korean style salad. And I actually have a very similar recipe in my Everyday Asian Recipes ebook, which is linked down below. And then, of course, I had some rice. I had a side of burdock root, which is a side dish, and some miso soup with tofu and enoki mushrooms. All right, you guys, so that is it for my what I ate in a week video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below what your thoughts were and I'll leave a link to my what I ate in a week playlist down below as well so you can check out my other what I ate in a week videos. I love watching these, so hopefully you guys enjoy them as well. If you did enjoy this video, of course, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, guys, don't forget to check out Care Of and get yourself 50% off your first order. Take the five minute quiz, link is down below. Thank you so much once again to Care Of for sponsoring today's video. And thank you so much to you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.